if you really want something, just fight for it and go for it. It's useless waiting around. Hopefully, if everyone just does an effort to really accept everyone, then the world, I think, would be a much better place. First time I realized I love music, I think actually growing up as a kid, watching many of these, you know, Disney movies, a lot of these soundtracks, and, you know, I always found myself singing along to the many of these soundtracks, and, I don't know, I just was intrigued by the whole atmosphere that they created, I guess. In terms of creating, I mean, I find myself to have, you know, an artist personality. So it's always like, you know, I, have to, I go to certain experiences in my life and I just simply, you know, have to jot down notes, come up with new ideas and, you know, just simply brainstorm and maybe create something new. And generally I find it to be very therapeutic as well, especially if you are going through something particular in your life, writing things down actually does help. And then actually, you know, creating a song or a musical piece out of it. You know, it's very, very satisfying to do. I tend to be influenced by experiences, by my surroundings. I tend to write about a lot of social experiences, not necessarily my own experiences, but even about others. But if I had to, you know, pick an artist who really influences me because I find him to be very honest, it would definitely be Troy Sivan. Growing up, I think many of us tend to hold back on a lot of things in life. It's either because of, you know, fear, either because of fear of rejection or regret, you name it. It's just, you know, allowing yourself to be free and if you really want something, just fight for it and go for it. It's useless waiting around. There are a lot of things I believe in really, which I believe should be done, but don't actually happen. But on a social level, I definitely believe in equality. Um, I find that 100% many laws of equality are there on paper, but are not actually applied. So hopefully if everyone just does an effort to really accept everyone, then the world, I think, would be a much better place. I think, to be honest, I'm still discovering what life actually means for me. Well, at the end of the day, I think it's, you know, making mistakes, learning from mistakes, growing, having fun, falling in love, I guess. It's, it's, it's a blend of all these emotions, I guess. I don't think we actually can take life literally in a straight line, because we're still figuring it out ourselves best part about my life? Um, actually, it's meeting new people. In this case, it is my students. I am an educator by profession. Um, and the fact that, you know, I meet these students, I get to engage with my students through a number of different ideas and, you know, just shaping their characters, you know, to be a better person as part of their generation. I think that is one of the really most beautiful things about my life. I think the main message that we can bring forward is, you know, to just allow people the space and freedom to be themselves, to really listen to each other's opinions as well. What I find that we need more, even as a nation, is a lot more critical thought as well, you know, to just really, you know, let those expressions come forward and just create something beautiful out of them, you know. At the end of the day, having a healthier mind is literally the best medicine that you could have. At the moment, I'm just in the studio working and writing and brainstorming new songs. Also, some really creative visuals. I also have some projects, theatrical music projects in mind as well, which I want to pull off. So thank you very much for having me for this interview. My name is Stefan. Please um, be sure to follow my journey, new music, new projects and Yes, I hope that these projects will drop very, very soon. Thank you.